everybody in here just sitting here having my coffee with all of you inside the tiny house it is a cold and kind of dreary day out today but you know what i am bound and determined to to be happy today so i got a few things i gotta do um i don't know if i'll necessarily feel myself do it uh, doing it, but uh, I got to work on that chicken coop a little bit. I do the deep litter method, and that is you build up the the initial lay, uh, bedding layer, about six, eight inches or so, um, and then eventually it composts down a little bit, and it's done that, so it's been working really well. I need to turn the litter. Um, I had already collected four buckets of dried, crunchy leaves and kind of broke them up a little bit. I'm going to put that down in there. Um, I'm also going to break open this big, huge block of bedding that I've got and throw that on the top and just make it all nice in there. So um, hopefully by spring, I'll have some good compost. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. It may need to cure a little bit longer. I don't know. I also got to clean the wood-burning stove out. I have been burning it so much. It's just crazy. So there's a lot of ash in there. I'll probably leave a little of it behind. Um, but I need to get that ash out of there. And I really, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to put the ashes in. I don't know. I'm sure I've got an extra bucket or something somewhere. Um, of course, it's you don't clean it out unless it's completely cool. So um, what else? I don't know. Oh, I did want to show you something. Okay, so once you start like doing a bunch of YouTube videos and maybe you've made a few reviews on Amazon and whatnot, people will contact you to try to get you to review their product. Well, I've done a couple of them. I don't really like to do those kind of videos that much unless I really like the product. Well, I got contacted by one recently and they wanted, what they wanted me to do is go to Amazon and purchase this myself so that they could refund me and so that I could leave my review there and I told them that's just not the way that I do things. You know, I don't even have the money to, you know, purchase your product. You know, if you want me to review your product, you just send it to me or you give me a PayPal donation and then I will purchase it and then do it that way. Uh, so I told them, no, I'm not interested. And, you know, you're going to see why, too. Here, let me show you this picture of what they want me to review and how much it costs. Here's the product they want me to review. It is a three drawer locking rolling metal file cabinet for $149.99. So they want me to take my own money and purchase this, trusting, you know, with me trusting them that they're going to give me the money back. And so I told them, no, no, you know, you can send me the product, you can give me a donation to PayPal, and I will order it and review the product, but there is no way that I'm going to spend my own money. I don't even have that much money right now. And review your product, trusting that you're going to pay me back for it. And one thing I noticed too, there are no reviews for this. There's no questions for this. And it says only 15 left in stock. Order soon. I don't believe it. I believe they've got a boatload of these still in stock. Plus, there are many more of these exact same filing cabinets being sold on Amazon for $100 or less. I can go to Walmart or Target or, well, maybe not Target, um, Odd Lots, you know, Big Lots, or even Goodwill. You know, Goodwill, I could probably find something like this for about 5 bucks. Walmart, half the price of this one and they probably even look more attractive so yeah this is kind of the stuff that I get I've had multiple other you know opportunities to review products but I have to buy them first so no no that's just not the way not the way that I can do things now I want to show you guys how the chickens love that flock block thing the big chicken nummy they love it so much and a little bit more chicken TV just just a teeny bit just a teeny bit they are loving it. All the little girls were there pecking at it earlier too, but they've just rushed up to greet me, a couple of them at least. Um, they've been pecking away at it for probably about 20 minutes now, and they just love it. And it was so cool. I wish I had captured it on film. All of them were eating off of this block at the same time. So that just warmed my heart. Hopefully I'll get get some footage of them all going at it at the same time. They were all just getting along. I tell you what, since this rooster came around, things have really, really calmed down. Well, good morning, girls. 
getting yourself a little snack on my dwindling herbs. Hi, pretty girls. Hello. You're so sweet. Oh, there's the other two. Are they all going to come up on the porch with me? Oh, yep. Hey, pretty birds. What you doing? What's Mr. Romeo doing? Oh, oh, don't peck my lilies. <laughs> Take a look at this. Oh, not that. There, there's several roosting. I put another piece of bamboo down there. Judy's going crazy. But they're all just kind of in there relaxing. Earlier, Romeo was laying down. He had all the four leghorns by him. And the baby chicks were just right off to the side. They were all taking a nap together. So yeah, the dynamics have really changed. I'm so happy. Here's what the inside of the chicken coop looks like now. I can see that they've already mixed the bedding up quite a bit. It was solid pine on the top and they've gone through and mixed the leaves and everything else up, which is awesome. I also added a little bit more to here. And if you can remember, I've got a space here for the little girls if they need to run somewhere and, you know, get some respite. This right here, I'm hoping it they will use it as a nesting box. I've got it closed off. I've just got the ramp inside and uh, it goes all the way over there. So, when the girls are old enough, I'll open this up just like this, put the little ramp up. I don't really think they need the ramp, though, and see if they'll use it as a nesting box. So, who knows? Who knows? Yep, got this roosting bar here. They're using that quite a bit, and this is now about 10 inches deep. Um, oh, and yeah, I just, I just made a couple things over here. This box I turned upside down, and I don't think they'll use it as a nesting box, um, just because it's, you know, it's right on the ground, so I don't know. I also put some litter down in there, took a drawer out, and put some litter up here, because I have seen um, Romeo kind of getting up on top of this, and <laughs> hello, Romeo, you beautiful bird. And he just kind of sits here, and this metal's so cold. So I went ahead and made a little box. I don't think they'll nest in it, but yeah, so there is absolutely no odor. Uh, I do need to clean that poop off there and off the top. They like to get up there and just kind of chill out. Um, but there is no odor in here at all whatsoever, so I must be doing this deep litter method right. I figured I'd take you around and show you the things that are still growing. Um, I can't believe anything is still growing. But there's some interesting stuff going on. So here, let me show you this. This is the passion fruit vine. And I mean, it's put a few leaves out, but it looks like, I don't know if that's another passion fruit vine or part of it that's kind of spreading. I'm not sure. There's another one here. It looks like a little leaf got took off the top but some some things are coming up so I don't know if that is passion, passion fruit or not. Check this bucket out. Here's my beauty berry. It's still doing good. And remember the bugs had eaten the leaves off of these turnips? Well they are starting to form turnips now. They, they've got their leaves back so that makes me happy. I have exactly two beet plants that haven't been destroyed by the chickens. So that makes me happy. And these beans. Look at them, they're terrible. The chickens get in here. But you can see they're, they are putting out beans. And I have actually harvested beans from this several times. And, uh, but I'll never plant these kind of beans again. But yeah, they are putting out beans, so that surprises me. But the chickens get in this bed, so any of the turnips and whatnot are completely gone, basically. Um, we've got a few kind of hanging on here. But yeah, the beans are still growing and they are giving me beans. Look at, there's a nice bean right there. Yeah, I might have enough for to throw in some soup today or something. These walking onions just keep growing. Um, I think I'm just gonna let the tops grow and let the little flower part grow. Maybe, I don't know if they will still, you know, this late in the year, but 
I've been told that the little flower part kind of like bends over and goes into the soil and that's how they spread. And so I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, they, they keep growing, so yes. These are some more turnips. And if you look down there, look at, look at, little turnips are starting to grow. I may get three or four turnips. Yay! This is the bucket that I started first. They're still not doing good. I water them just the same, so I don't know what the difference is. But I had showed you this before, but this eggplant plant, I had completely cut back because I didn't want to just pull it out because I wanted this time to finish up. It's coming back. Wouldn't that be hilarious if I actually got another eggplant? I don't think I will, though. But look at this. This is still giving me cayenne peppers. I can't believe it. I've harvested a couple that have ripened, and I'm still getting them. I'm still getting blooms. There's a little twisty one. That's kind of cute. So that totally surprises me. Right on. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that mess? Yep, it's time to clean this baby out. Ah, I think that's good enough. And here's all the beautiful wood ash I've got. I also took out any of the larger chunks of biochar. I'll rinse that off, and you know I love to save my biochar because you can use it for other things, such as filtering water. Even though I don't need to build a water filter because I have a Berkey, but you could do other things with it. So what am I going to do with this wood ash? Hmm, what am I going to do with it? Yep, it's going in the dust bath. I read oh, oh, oh. Judy. <laughs> She's going crazy, isn't she? Uh, I read multiple sources and did a little bit of research, and apparently wood ash is good for chickens. So it's going in the dust bath. I just kind of mixed it in there with the dirt so that it wouldn't be so dusty, so they wouldn't inhale it. And they are already coming and checking it out. Right on. Another use for something else that otherwise would have been waste. Let's see if they... Let's see if they'll do a dust bath in it. Let's see if the leghorns will let the little girls in. Oh, looks like it. At least temporarily. But I've heard that wood ash is good for treating mites and lice in chickens. And they like to dust bathe in it. So this is what I'm going to do with my wood ash. I know I'll have to add more soil eventually, but right on. Look at guys, they're dusting, dusting in their new dust bath. Yay! No lice, no mites. I haven't seen any parasites on them, but you never know because they can be pretty small. But they're loving it. It's the little girl's turn. Just look at them in there, dusting around. That makes me so abundantly happy. Yep, they're going to be very, very clean chickens with all that wood ash in there. They just love dusting around. Aren't they cute? Well, guys, today has turned out to be pretty good so far, and it's only just begun, really. I got some stuff done. I got the chicken coop bedding taken care of. I cleaned out the wood stove. I found another use for the wood ash, which is going to be awesome. Collected a little bit of biochar. I got my porch and my fake porch, the little piece of plywood that's laying down there <laughs> just to kind of like wipe your feet on. I got that swept. I got things organized inside the tiny house and cleaned up the cooking area and whatnot. Had a bunch of stuff sitting out all over the place. And you know one thing is when I'm feeling a little depressed or down or blue or whatever, if I clean and if I organize, I just, it makes me feel so much better. It really does. I can just sit back and go, that looks nice. So, yeah, I'm going to just end this video here. i got to go into town to upload it because it's going to take forever. <laughs> it's going to take forever to upload. Um, and just enjoy the rest of my day. I'm going to cook something on the wood-burning stove tonight because it's going to be kind of chilly. And I just discovered Hannah and Cody had brought me over a bunch of canned goods that they don't use. A lot of it was um, canned applesauce. And I make apple butter out of all of that canned applesauce. It kind of saves you a step when it's already cooked down to applesauce. So I don't know, maybe in the next couple of days I'll make a big pot of apple butter. Well, actually it starts out a big pot and then it gets down to like maybe that much. So I'm looking forward to having some apple butter very, very soon. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.